Hey everybody, Sean here, and welcome to Revealing Truth. And special thanks to Ian for sharing this. The clip we're looking at today is titled, How Demons Enter You. And remember, these demon slayers all believe that born-again believers can have demons enter them. The strength. Demons don't come in because of open doors. They come in because of a lack of revelation of the finished work of the cross. A lack of revelation of the grace of God. And that's the whole clip. He's just making this up, but he's speaking Christianese, so all these biblically illiterate people he's preaching to just cheer him on. First off, scripture doesn't teach us how demons enter a person. What we do know is that Satan and his goons are prowling around like a lion looking for who they can devour. And the second thing we know is that if we are saved, then he who is in us, the Holy Spirit that is, is more powerful than he who is in the world. So what does his statement actually mean? We come in because of a lack of revelation of the finished work of the cross. So demons come in because of a lack of revelation of the finished work of the cross. Now, if he was trying to say that demons come in because people don't know Jesus or have the Holy Spirit in them, then he'd be correct. Because having God's Holy Spirit in someone is the only way someone is safe from having demons enter them. But he can't be saying that because he and the other demon slayers all teach that we as born-again Christians can and do have demons in us that need to be cast out on a regular basis. So if that's true, then he's saying that as born-again believers, demons can enter us if we have a lack of revelation of the finished work of the cross? Dupree's is just preaching confusion that contradicts what he actually believes. As believers, we are told in James 4-7 to submit to God and resist the devil, and he will flee. Never are we told to cast demons out of believers. So stop listening to any of these demon slayers, because they are all a bunch of confused people preaching one thing and doing another. So to answer his question on how demons enter you, they can do that to anybody that isn't saved. So the key is to get saved and sealed with the Holy Spirit until our day of redemption comes. And with that being said, leave your comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.